Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Slack users, today we are leveling up your team communication. Join me for a quick guide on connecting Google Drive to Slack in 2024. Let's ensure your documents seamlessly integrate with your Slack conversations. Ready to enhance your collaboration? Let's dive in. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, this video requirements are pretty simple. You should have a Slack account and a Google account that has a Google Drive associated with it. So first thing is to log in into your Slack account. So here I am, I am now on my Slack account and let me create a new workspace for this specific video. So first let's log in, here we go and continue. After we did that, let's simply click to create a workspace by clicking right here. So by clicking on your workspace, it will simply create one for you. So for this specific tutorial, I'm just going with one of my old workspaces that I have created, obviously, before that. So I'm just going to open it in my browser. So uh, here, you just like in your browser, so it can open in browser. And here it is. So here we have slack uh, window or basically a dashboard or whatever ui or whatever you want to use to call it and here in this section you will find apps click on plus button and it's pretty simple from here don't you see it is right in front of you so simply now all you need to do is to click on this google drive and you should be taken to this page where you can actually add it so here it is an overview about this app and what it's going to give you. Always guys, make sure to read the overview because it will give you a brief idea and it will give you the main features that this inter uh, uh, like this connection or this integration will actually give you. So if you had an idea in your mind, uh, it could not it's, there is a possibility that it is not one of the key features and you that downloading it might not really help you. So here are the key features. So use Google Drive within Slack to create new Google Docs, slides, and sheet files. Import an existing file from Google Drive into a channel or direct method. Search directly within Google Drive files shared within Slack. Automatically grant access to the files you share with the right audience. Get updates in Slack on changes in Drive, like comments, access requests, and new files shared with you. Reply directly to a common notification from within Slack and have them posted to the file. Here it is an example. So here you will get notified as soon as a person or someone makes a comment or suggestion. You will also have here, so let me just go next one. So easily grant access to files that others want to view. You can learn about files that are newly shared with you so you don't miss anything. And yeah, these are like the main ideas. Here you will have the permission that you have to grant. And here security and compilers. Here we're simply gonna do is to simply click right here to actually add it. Here are the supported languages, which are basically English, French, German, and Japanese, and finally Spanish. So let's click here to add to Slack. And basically, I'm just going to go right here and click on the allow button from this section. After I did that, I'm just going to select my account and I want to assign it to Slack. So this account is going to be the Google Drive account. I'm going with this one as an example. Continue, allow, and simply now we have to wait. And Google Drive has been successfully connected. So there is now authentication and this is basically the user's guide. Here let's customize a name uh, for this uh, like for the folder where this integration will post. So I'm just going to name it for example Google Drive Slack. Save integration and we are ready to go. So here you can disable it for future uh, like progress or something like that and here you can remove it. So here, let's go back and rem let me just go here. Let me just go to my home page. Yep, right here. And you will find it in here, as you can see. This is the app 
and this is the shot so here they will tell you some kind of guidance so welcome to google drive we noticed that you're a slack admin if you'd like you can enable domain wide authentication to authorize all members of your workspace to use google drive everyone in your workspace with an email address on a verified domain will be able to easily and instantly access their google drive right in slack so here we have useful tips if you are trying to reply comment notification start thread from the notification message you can now turn on off notification and file preview from the home tab type off or stop to turn off notification type on or start to turn on notification back on type help for assistance so let's try this out so here i'm just gonna type um, off let me type that and yeah here you go dive notification is like i turned off here let's type on and drive notifications like are turned on you will receive updates about new comments access requests and files shared with you for, for assistance type help let's try help and yeah they give us the same thing basically if you are trying to reply to a comment notification start a thread from the notification message so this is basically google drive on slack it's pretty easy guys nothing that hard about it and the thing is let me try here on off yeah it doesn't work on all the channels if you want people to get access to this channel well then you have to actually uh, invite them to it or add them into it so here we can try a thread for example hello and yeah sorry i didn't quite get that you might be responding to a thread that is not a comment or something about the file may be invalid so you can't really talk to to the bot about anything else besides the things that it's already given to you so it is not chat gpt it is just a robot that will answer you only for specific questions otherwise he will send you this message which is sorry i didn't quite understand what you said and basically guys this is the uh, whole idea of connecting Google Drive with Slack. So now once you have shared anything on your Google Drive or anything has been changed from comments, files, the data inside of everything on your Google file, it will be posted here. You can check it from here, you will receive notification on your Slack account and in your Gmail account both at the same time. This can really really help and boost your uh, engagement with your team and in general the engagement of the team, the whole team in a general idea. So yeah guys, that was it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial.